everybody, in this video we're going to be uh, proving that tangent of one degree is irrational. So proving that something is irrational is oftentimes not something that is done in the forward direction, right? Usually irrationality is proved by a contradiction. We assume that whatever we want to prove is irrational, we assume that it's rational and then show that usually via a method of descent or induction that um, that that number or we reach a, con a contradiction a mathematical statement that can't be true say for example one is equal to zero therefore our assumption must be incorrect so we'll do just that we'll assume that tangent of one is rational and for the remainder of this video, I'm going to be ditching the degree symbol because it's just hard to write. So I'm just going to say tangent of 1. But I mean degrees. Everything's going to be in degrees. So we have, we're assuming tangent of 1 is rational. Then what about another number, like tangent of 2? Well, uh, let's think about how we can express tangent of 2 in terms of tangent of 1. Well, tan uh, 2 is just 1 plus 1. So if we looked at tangent of 1 plus 1, then what we get is if we use the tangent addition formula, we get, we see that this is equal to tangent of 1 plus tangent of 1 divided by 1 minus tangent squared of 1. And if, if tangent of 1 is irrational, I mean, sorry, if tangent of 1 is rational, then it's pretty easy to see that this number will also be rational. So say this is rational. And, you know, maybe this is going somewhere, right? Because let's think about some, some tangents that we know for sure are irrational. The first one that comes to the top of my head, or at least the smallest one, is tangent of 30. Because this is a special, right, or a special angle, and we know just from basic trigonometry and really just dissecting the equilateral triangle, we know that tangent of 30 is 1 divided by square root of 3. And it is very easy to prove that this is not in, uh, this is not rational. So this is an irrational number. And so if we can sort of, what we want is a contradiction. So if we can show that if we can continue this process until we somehow claim that tangent of 30 degrees is rational, then we know we'll have reached our contradiction and therefore our assumption was wrong. So maybe we can prove that the tangent of any integer will be rational, assuming that tangent of 1 is rational. Well, sounds sort of like a job for induction. Let's look at tangent of k plus 1. This is equal to tangent of k plus tangent of 1 over 1 minus tangent of k times tangent of 1. And then we can see as long as tangent of k times tangent of 1 is not 1, then this will also be in the rational set. And we see that tangent of 1 times tangent of k is only equal to 1 if k were to equal 89. So that's the only exception here. But that's because tangent of 90 is not defined. In other words, we can go from tangent of 2 to tangent of 3 to tangent of 4, right? Because if we assume that tangent of k is rational, then tangent of k plus 1 is rational. So therefore, the tangent of any integer will be rational under the assumption that tangent of 1 is rational. So here we've claimed that by induction, the tangent of an integer is rational, at least an integer less than 90, we, we, which we don't, we don't need to go past 90 for our proof. In other words, we can continue this chain of rationality into to claim that tangent of 30 
degrees must be rational. But this is our contradiction, because we know that uh, the tangent of 30 degrees is equal to 1 divided by square root of 3. Therefore, we know that our original assumption that the tangent of 1 is rational is incorrect, and therefore tangent of 1 is irrational. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.